In this video, we will be exploring three questions related to combustion. Let us now look at question 1, part A. You might want to pause to try the question. Here's the solution. The molar ratio of the hydrocarbon to CO2 is 1 to x. The volume of reacted CXHY is 5 cm3. Volume of CO2 is 20 cm3 as CO2 is acidic and dissolves in NaOH. One mole of CXHY is in the numerator's place, and the unknown number of moles of CO2 is in the denominator's place. This mole ratio is equal to the ratio of the respective volumes, 5 over 20 cm3. By simple calculation, x equals to 4. Now, try part b. Moving on to the solution. Note that the initial amount of O2 is in excess. After reaction, any O2 left has not been reacted. Hence, to find the amount of reacted O2, we take the initial amount minus the leftover, giving us 100 minus 70, which equals 30 cm3. Question 2 requires you to balance the following equation. Pause and try it out. First, balance the number of C. To avoid confusion, have a habit of putting 2 in the denominator of compounds such as H2O and O2. Calculate the number of H atoms and transfer directly, doing the same for O atoms. Note that you have to subtract Z from the number of O required. After simplifying the fraction, you will get the final answer. Now, let's move on to the last question. To solve this, let us first break the question down. Before reaction, there are CXHY and excess oxygen in the reaction vessel as shown in the picture. After reaction, the vessel will contain CO2, H2O vapour and unreacted oxygen. When cooled to room temperature, water vapour is removed as water and the only gases remaining are unreacted oxygen and CO2. When passed through KOH, acidic CO2 gas will be removed, leaving behind O2 gas. There are 15 cm3 of CXHY and 75 cm3 of CO2 and the molar ratio in this question is 1 is to x. Recall from question 1, part A, that molar ratio equals volume ratio. Hence, 1 over x equals 15 over 75. Thus, x is 5. Keeping in mind that the remaining gases after cooling consist of unreacted O2 and CO2, the volume of unreacted O2 is thus 135 minus 75, which equates to 60 cm3. Recall from question 1, part B, that the amount of reacted O2 equals the initial amount minus the unreacted portion. In this case, 120 cm3 of O2 has reacted. There is 1 mole of CXHY to x plus y over 4 moles of oxygen. Hence, equating 1 over x plus y over 4 to 15 over 120 and substituting x equals to 5, y equals 12.